Here we have a good one for all you old people on iOS 9.3.5 with a 32 bit price. So basically, what you need is a 32 bit device on 9.3.5. That can be a 4S, 5, 5C, iPad 2, 3, or 4, or iPad Mini 1, or Apple Touch 5th generation, as long as it's running 9.3.5. So today we're going to be jailbreaking it. So first what you want to do is get the programs you need, which um, just type into Google, download Phoenix Jailbreak, and download Cydia Impact R, because that's all you need. I'm going to go download it. Desktop list. Order on not selected one of downloads window. Free view. Level one this PC expanded not selected two or three. Level two downloads collapsed three of eight. I. Impactor zero. Nine. Four one four of ninety two. I've got my impact. Type edit file folder. Edit impactor zero. Nine. Four one four of ninety two. Massive talk buffer. Impactor zero. And I'm going to go to Impactor.exe. Impactor. 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 Is I'm going to be installing Combo Box Dams iPhone 8090 Phoenix, which is the jailbreak. Tool. Impact a submenu on Buzzer. About impact. Exit X. Debug provisioning. Exit. Connect. Restart. Disconnect. Connect. Restart. Disconnect. About. Sys. Restore unavailable R. About impact error. Exit X. Debug. Debug. Check for. About impact. Exit X. Bridge. We install. Watch log. Install package. I'm going to go to install package. <coughs> Window. Select the dialog file name. Address. All right. So I want to look for my about Phoenix IPA. Headbox Z5 not selected. One of 92. Viewfinder. Focus on log. Uh, so Phoenix. Phoenix2.ipa. Phoenix so I'm going to click on this file. Apple ID username dialog. This can be your iTunes email login edit. No. Blank. No. Now I'm going to enter my Apple ID, which I will today in the case of this be the Apple ID that I signed in with the 4 Anyway, Chat. okay button. This can be. So I'm going to just do this now. Okay, so I've done that on purpose because I entered the wrong info. Um, damn me. Cydia Impactor. Combo box install Cydia Extender for last. Install Cydia Extender. Open button all okay. plus down arrows. Combo box dams iPhone 8090 6478CR11487FD800 2D701.435844708 last. Dams iPhone 8090 Impactor. Device. Reboot up. Install package. Hi. We're going to do that again, obviously. Select package file. Speed type characters off. Just because of the failure we had where I had the Command wrong information. Preview. Items viewed. Phoenix 2. Viper 23. Apple ID username. Then, I. Hey. Messages. Double tap to open. Apple ID password dialog. So I'm going to enter my Apple ID password here for this account. Just move out the camera a little bit. Sitting on that one. One hundred percent. And the, the package is going to start installing now. Ten percent. Twenty percent. Thirty-seven percent. Forty-eight percent. Going to get sixty-four percent. Eighty-two percent. Ninety-eight percent. One percent. Eleven percent. Twenty-two percent. Thirty-two percent. Forty-three percent. Fifty-four percent. Sixty-four percent. Seventy-five percent. Eighty-five percent. Ninety-five percent. Zero percent. Ten percent. Twenty percent. Thirty percent. Forty percent. Fifty percent. Sixty percent. Seventy percent. Eighty percent. Ninety percent. One hundred percent. Zero percent. Eleven. Twenty-nine percent. Oh my God. It's a black iPhone 4 16 40%. gig if anyone wants to know. And yeah, it is running 9.3.5. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to go into settings. So that you can, basically what you have to do here is you have to trust the profile. So you have to go settings. General. You go to device management, and it's got my Apple ID here. And we're just going to go into developer, and we're going to trust my account. And now we're going to go out of there, and we're going to open up Phoenix. So basically, you people, that is you done with the computer now. So I'm just going to close everything out on my computer.
because basically you've got what you needed. Start window. Got Context menu. Desktop topic. Shut down. Shut down. Update and restart. R. Update and shut down. You. Huh. And it's caught me out with a goddamn update. One is not. Mixtape player. Prepare for jailbreak. Button. Your iPhone four. One is not jailbroken. Prepare for jailbreak. Accept. So I'm going to prepare for the jailbreak. Button. Accept. Button. Accept. Credits. Phoenix. Phoenix. Credits. Accept. Button. I'm going to accept. Free alert. Free mixtape alert. Your copy of four. Dismiss. Dismiss. Copy of Felix includes a free mixtape. You may download the mixtape now and access it by opening the Felix app using mixtape later. Dismiss. Button. Sweet. Update and shut down you. Unknown. Secure desktop. Now. Button. Proceed with jailbreak. Button. Proceed with jailbreak. Button. And I'm just going to proceed with my jailbreak for now because what are we here for? Begin installation. Begin installation. Button. Begin installation. Set alert. Device supported. Offsets sounds like. Use provided offsets. Just go here. Use provided offsets, people. It's easier. And it'll respring as well when it's jailbroken. It's, it's nothing serious. And you also get a thing that says storage almost full, but nothing serious again. So just go along with this. And yeah. That should install there. It's just respringing now. Now the reason I've done this is um, this is a clean 4S, it's the only one that for some reason will connect to my Wi-Fi and we're going to be running Cool Booter on this phone as well. So yeah, we can run um, Cool Booter, which is for jailbreak obviously. Um, I've got three 4S's which is mad, I know, but you know, it is what it is. I have three of these things, I don't know what to do with them, so we just jailbreak them. So we're gonna get cool boot in next. So I'm gonna unlock the phone. It should be nice and ready, jailbroken. Sure enough, we see Cydia. Which seems like it's gonna load. And here it is. So that is how you jailbreak your iPhone 4S.